also had Steve Young and Jeff Hostow. That was yes. a pretty good group. Well, you heard what the guys were talking about, about Cincinnati and Minister and Black Hole. And, uh, g give me your feel for uh, the situation Achilles is going to walk into, because it is difficult. It is a very difficult situation, Mike. And one of the reasons I think so is because, you know, he has to step in there now with Jeff Blake. And they're going to be telling Jeff Blake, look, you're our quarterback yeah. right now. But in the short, in the long term, Achilles Smith is going to be our quarterback. I mean, you know, Achilles, his name in Swahili means courage, power, creativity, and intelligence or whatever. He's going to need all of those and more. And then I saw him with 32 guys up on the stage today. Okay, there's going to be plenty of seats in Cincinnati for all 32 of those people. So, front rows, God help them right now. The entourage will fit without problem right. in the synergy even before they go to Paul Brown Stadium. Best situation, worst situation. Of the five quarterbacks taken, who do you think Jim's in the best fit? Probably Dante Culpepper because he's with the Minnesota Vikings. He doesn't have to worry being thrown right into the fire. I mean, you look at the guys he's going to be thrown to, Randy Moss, Chris Clark, but more importantly, the quarterbacks. You have Jeff George, you have Randall Cunningham. He doesn't have to get in right away and try to make an impact. Boomer, best situation? Well, you know what I think? Whatever happened to fiscal responsibility is that I said. Right now, Tim Couch, I think, is worth the money. He's a guy that has shown that he is, can do it in a big-time college situation. The other guys all have great attributes. I'm not disputing that. The question I have is how much do you want to pay these guys for yeah. those attributes? I would say Tim Couch, number one, in the best situation, Dante Culpepper, and then the other three, you know, who, I don't know. <laughs> That's right, exactly. But you never with, know. With Oakland still on the clock in some six and a half minutes till they pick, the worst situation, would it be uh, new coaching staff? Would it be fans? Would it be the guys around you? What would define a worst situation for one of these five I guys? think the people around you. You have to, in order to be a top quarterback in this league, you got to have everything around you. All of a sudden, you get thrown into the fire, injuries, people around your feet. They're going to have a lot to think about. More importantly, if for head coach to really remember what, what got him there and what can get him there, that's a top quarterback. So you don't want to take too many chances too early. Boomer, as a guy who played in New York, what advice would you give Donovan McNabb after the greeting he got from the Philly fans who've been booing their quarterback all along? So they get a new quarterback and they boo him before he does anything. I don't understand you people, but what would you give him? <laughs> it's, not, it's not Donovan McNabb's fault. He is a great athlete. There's no question about that, Mike and Jim. But, uh, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, he's got a quarterback's coach in Andy Reid, a head coach, I mean, who will ac actually have some, uh, you know, real you know, say so in what he does and, and sure. how, how long he wants to bring him, how slow he wants to bring him along, which is good. But I hate to go back to Cincinnati, but, you know, that situation where they can't stop anybody on defense does not bode well for a rookie quarterback. And there's going to be an awful lot of pressure, I believe, in the quarterback meetings. Just think of Kenny Anderson trying to balance the egos of Jeff Blake. Neil Donald, if he's there, Achilles Smith, and whoever else. Well, through your experiences, they're going to tell us what these guys face specifically and how they can assimilate their talents into the pros as they'll join us a little bit later on. Now we'll go back to Chris Burke. All right, guys, thank you. And a lot of passes being thrown up there for sure. Let's pass it on up to Solomon Wilcox in New England with the head coach of the Patriots, Pete Carroll who uh, now has a new center, Solomon. Thanks, Chris. Pete, so many people thought that you probably could have took the center, Damian Woody, at the 20th spot, but you give up two picks to move up three spots. Why do you do that? Well, we, we uh, really wanted to get Damian Woody, and we wanted to make sure that we did. Uh, we knew uh, after the running back thing was over, uh, we were dead set on getting this kid. And so uh, when we had our chance, we wanted to ensure that we did, and it's very important to us. We had a, a big need. We got a very unique player. Uh, that we uh, we think comes along very rarely, and so we're, we're happy to do whatever it took to make sure that we, we got him on our club. You lose last year's center, Dave Wallabout, a free agency. You now bring in Damian Woody. Can you project him as next year's starter? Well, he's going uh, to come in here with the thought that he's going to be a starting player. That's why we drafted him. I, I think he's very unique, and, and uh, we, we believe that that's what he'll be able to do. He's going to have to work real hard and, and earn his way, but uh, we're sure counting on him to do that. Yeah, they're counting on Damian Woody. He was labeled the dominator while at Boston College, a big favorite of a lot of the fans right here in the New England area. Let's send it back to you, Chris. All right, Solomon and Coach Carroll, thank you very much. They'll be back in the war room because uh, they pick uh, 28th a little later on in the first round. The rain is four minutes left for their first round pick. Will be fine. Farming, it's America's heritage, but every week over 500 family farmers go out of business, losing their land and their livelihood. Here's a way you can help. Just dial 1010-220 when you make a long-distance call. All calls up to 20 minutes are only 99 cents. And 1010-220 will make a 